Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs and it's going to be my daily forecast for Monday, June 28, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you can hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see, this has been rallying since the bottom here of 97, all the way up towards uh, 127 as a rally of roughly 30% the last basically the last month and a half so now we are significantly overbought we are significantly overstretched we stretch it all the way up towards 127 and that's probably as far as this will go at this point it could go uh, much higher but this is an area where we have found massive uh, resistance in the past you can see it here here and also here and it looks like we are you got really overstretched here in the bullish band and the pullback towards the middle could be what we are going to see right now so a drop of 7.8 percent towards the 40 exponential or 50 moving average and that could be something that we'll see in the next few trading days we are significantly overbought at, the, at this point but other indicators are very bullish so if we break above the 127 level uh, then we are probably going to target the very highs again but at this point we're significantly overstressed significantly or bought pullbacks kind of expected at this point so dvi sorry dvi so dvi has recovered quite nicely from the massive fall here towards the 100 moving average we are up roughly from the bottom, 3.3% to the upside. We're approaching the middle of the bullish band, and the question is whether or not we are going to get rejected there. That's roughly at the 50 moving average. You can see it right here. Uh, we have the 20 and the 40 right above as well, but the 50 is kind of where um, the action will take place. Whether or not we get rejected there, then we'll probably drop back to the 100 moving average. Technical indicators are all turning around, even though some of them are very bearish at this point. MACD is bearish, the RSI is uh, bullish, the CCI is bearish, the CASIC is turning around completely here, very bullish, and we are approaching the middle of the bullish band. So if we break above the 50 moving average, then we are going to test these previous highs again, break below the 100 moving average, then we're dropping all the way down to the 150 as a drop of 5% to the downsides. So let's look at VTI. So VTI, VTI, you know, it continues to rally. It is basically at its all time highs at this current stage, up 0.37% on, on Friday. And at this point, we there's a lot of room to the upside. We are only at 60 in the RSI, but we are basically at the top of the bull in Japan. So at this point, you can see what happens usually when we get to those stages where we get uh, very overstretched, it pulls back towards the middle or basically completes the completely falls apart we can see it here here and so on so if you just use the technical uh, the bullinger band as a technical indicator for determining when we are going to have a pullback or when we are going to have rally then it is more likely that we're going to have a pullback at this point than than we are going to have a rally but macd is bullish stochastic is bullish cci is bullish and the rsi is flat at this point so it could continue but it's more likely that we'll have a pullback towards the 20 exponential or the 40 exponential before going higher so let's look at mchi so mchi gapped up on friday and now is trading at 83 and then rallied some up 1.69 percent usually this etf rallies at the end of the month i don't really know why that is but that is kind of what you can see here in the may it rallies basically a massive gap up you can see at the end of june also a rallying you can see the end of uh, this is basically oh this was it no sorry this was end of may rallies end of june mount rallies and then it's also an end of april also rallies if we go back towards the end of of march as well continue to rally so yes if you look at historical data usually technically rallies at the end of the month and uh, probably somebody in the comment section can as of why that technically is but at the moment macd is very bullish rsi is bullish cci is bullish and so is stochastic we're approaching the top of the bullish band uh, 84 up here should be an area where we'll find massive massive um, resistance if we break above this level here then we are 
well, probably go to the next level, which is roughly at uh, 87 and then to the very highest here up at, in the 90s, 96, 97 and so on. So last time we got towards this level, we broke down all the way down to, uh, to 79. And yes, um, it looks like we are just trading within the square. The bottom being down here at the 70, 76 and the highest being at 84. So let's look at IBB. So IBV is up 0.37% on Friday and trading at an all-time highs. And at this uh, current stage, uh, MACD is bullish, RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, and so is the stochastic. But we are very overstretched here in the bullish band. Last time we were this overstretched, we can see it right here. It completely fell apart. So it dropped roughly 4.2% uh, um, and... So at this current stage, we could stay here for a while, but pull back towards the middle could be expected, even though there's a lot of room to the, up, to the upside in the RSI. But around the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average down here at the 420, that should be massive support levels. So hope you find it helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck and thank you very much.